It genuinely is a grassroots movement. That is Seattle's newest city councilor, Shama Shawant, and she's got a lot on her mind. I have followed the campaign between uh, candidate Sawant and Conlon uh, shortly after I arrived in Seattle last July, and up and through our candidate forum on underwater homes and foreclosure, uh, as well as the uh, advocacy that has been championed by candidate Sawant and, and many of us uh, on behalf of uh, Jane Mayer in her fight against Bank of America. Well, at any rate, um, at the time that candidate Conlon wrote me, uh, to mention he couldn't come to the forum. He said he would speak with me after the election. You know, at that time, almost no one thought that he meant, you know, that we would be speaking at his house instead of City Hall. But that is the way things have turned out. And uh, I wish both candidates the best of luck, and I wish all the homeowners the best of luck in fighting these banks. And uh, we're going to roll up our sleeves and get on to work. <laughs> Well, this is a moment of victory. We should enjoy it, and I hope everyone comes to participate in the rally. Well, congratulations. To you too. Thank you for supporting. Indeed. Thank you, Chris. Welcome. Jane Mayer, how are you? Very good. I'm very happy to celebrate with my friends for Kuchama Zawini as a socialist. <laughs> Socialism for people, not for big corporations. All right. You know, a month ago, did you think you'd be here right now? I'm sorry? I said, what? If, you, if you, somebody asked you a month ago, would you have been here by now? Been? A month ago? I think we, we knew that there was a chance because we were getting a really resonating echo for our campaign platform, especially for the fact that we were fighting for $15 an hour. But I think as the campaign went on, it became more and more clear that we were gaining momentum, especially uh, in the last few weeks, you know, especially with, in the last weekend when we did the 100 rallies, it showed how much grassroots support there was. And even in the last days of the campaign, new people were coming and volunteering for the campaign. That was a, a sign that it was growing and catching the imagination of the rest of the workers in Seattle. And they were seeing how much courage it took to, when, you're, when you're a low-wage worker, you have no... Uh, you know, bank account that's going to cushion you if you lose your job, and yet you, you know, they were showing the courage to go out on a one-day strike. That really struck people as something, uh, you know, as a change in, in in the times. And and our campaign was in solidarity with them. And uh, I think they saw that finally there is a movement and a campaign, an electoral campaign that completely defied all the logic of corporate politics. I mean, make no mistake, this is absolutely historic. I think the challenges are primarily to, uh, you know, to once again, you know, continue challenging the pigeonholing that happens of uh, uh, candidates. You know, uh, many people are saying, well, now you won the campaign. Now you want, you, you need to go from campaign mode into legislator mode. And somehow that means, for, in, in their eyes, it means that all the passion and all the grassroots energy that we brought somehow has to be bottled up, put it put back in the shelf, and then now I need to don the big business that legislator had 
where I do the same business as usual, where I don't stand up clearly for the interests of working people. And we, we obviously reject that idea, and we know that there is so much momentum on the ground to push for a different kind of politics, and I would urge everybody to not see this campaign as a one-off, but to use it as a springboard to build support for future challenges. There will no doubt be challenges. And I also wanted to say a few words about how this is not just about fast food workers, it's also about other working people, elderly people, disabled people struggling for their rights. There's been an uh, amazing start to the anti-foreclosure movement in Seattle through uh, SAFE, you know, standing against foreclosures and evictions. We need all of these movements, these seeds that have been sown to take root and really blossom into one big movement. What do you think of your victory party turnout? Uh, I think it's fantastic. I, I think, I think, I think uh, uh, people who are uh, watching this show should ask themselves, when was the last time a corporate business as usual candidate winning the election was able to inspire this kind of energy? It hasn't happened before, and this is what we need. We need more of grassroots campaigns. Thank you.